Mark, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, we've got Wembley coming up uh, in, in a couple of days' time. It's a, an excellent opportunity for the club and for for uh, four years in, out of five uh, that we've reached uh, the, the grand stage at, at the home of English football. Yeah, no, I, th I think it's a, it's a bit of payback for the fans. I think you know, the, the thing I, I've said I, I love is, is when I saw somebody tweet at a father who tweeted that his young son had said, Dad, what, what time do we normally set out for Wembley? You know, and, f and for me, that that's great because there's a bit of payback for the fans. I mean, uh, the demotion last season being voted out of League One was unfair and unjust. And you know, this is because the fans have stuck together, because we've all kept, you know, looking at what we need to do and living well. You know, we are living well. So another trip to Wembley, real pity we can't have any fans there um, but you know it is a fact that we've got a pandemic so we just have to accept that and, and make the most of the day which I'm sure the lads will. It's such a shame isn't it that the supporters can't be there they've, they've, they've gone down in the thousands you know it seems like a common theme that Tramia Rovers are, are playing at Prenton Park South um, it is it is such a shame that they're not going to be there but you know that it is a it's a one club together this isn't it even though they won't be there in the terraces at Wembley. Yeah and, and you know I think that if, you, if you're looking back over the pandemic and, and it's been a, been a terrible time for everybody and all businesses and so forth I think one of the strong things that's come through the club is, is what we've tried to build here at the club and that's a oneness so everybody's in it together and you're seeing that now people are buying virtual tickets which will go uh, not to the club particularly but it'll go to for example helping the disabled supporters getting access next season etc so you know uh, for me it, it's, it's it's not all lost you know we, we all have the fans there which would be massively disappointing and I'm, honestly we'll detract a little bit from the day uh, but let's see where we go and let's see if we can bring something back the Papa John's Trophy has provided an excellent uh, competition for you know for for Keith to use his squad and utilise that. And it, it is a brilliant competition, isn't it, for the for the club to you know go on and compete. And, and Sunderland is a, is a great opponent too to face in that final. Yeah, I, I can I thoroughly understand because I'm a massive fan of the pyramid. I can thoroughly understand why fans don't like the the idea of, of under twenty one teams playing in this, and also with the track record of the game itself that you know people have sold the long term for the short term. So you know th th there's a lack of trust in that. But believe me, uh, myself and probably a lot of other owners are, are pretty much determined not to see B teams or under twenty one teams you know, start to invade the pyramid in the way that was suggested when when, when Greg Dyke went to the FA. I told him it was one of the, the worst ideas he's ever had uh, so you know I think that they, they should relax on that the fact of the matter is we have to be in it you know so we're in it so we can't we can't avoid it so if we're in it we make a job of it uh, and I wish the fans would, would see that and actually come and support us because it does provide a source of revenue and, and now it's providing a source of excitement and pride uh, and actually it also gives Keith and the, and the, and the staff the, the ability to you know give players game time when otherwise they may sit out there in the cold and therefore not be quite ready to come back in when, when when, you know, when, when they call back into the first team and that's one of the things that's uh, absolutely useful at this point in time that we have players who all can step in and not really weaken the team and part and parcel of that was giving lads the chance to play in, in what was a you know became a fairly competitive competition as soon as we were sort of playing League One clubs. We are playing a League One club on the Sunday against Sunderland, you know, a massive team that were in the Premier League not so long ago. Um, it's fantastic, isn't it, to see the journey Trammy Rovers has been on to be competing against the team, that you know, the stature and the fan base of, of Sunderland Football Club. Yeah, we, we, we got a glimpse of that when we went back into League One uh, and uh, I think that you know everybody got the taste once again for going to places like Ipswich and you know and, and Portsmouth and, and, and Sunderland etc so you know that's where you know our, our season this year we're, we're aiming to try and get back into that into that part of the pyramid that I think we you know we at least deserve at this club I, I don't mean that we deserve anything by right I think we deserve it at this club because of the efforts of all the people that I've seen over the last six Six or seven years we've been here that have been put into the place and of course you know I always say that people who are owners of football clubs and, and people who are working in football clubs stand on the shoulders of giants because you know this club goes back to 1884 and the efforts of people you know since that time towards the ethic of the club has been tremendous and gets the club to where it is and we're just the current custodians uh, but it's great that you know in, in our period here we've had four trips to Wembley we've had two promotions uh, we've had a relegation which was un unavoidable almost in the first season uh, and we had a, a you know we've been voted out which uh, We'll see. This competition, you know, presents that chance, like as, a, as I've said, to go to Wembley. But we've, even though we've been to the playoff finals at Wembley recently, this club has a rich tradition of reaching cup finals. You know, we've won this competition in in the early nineties, and you know, and the fact that we played um, at Wembley in the League Cup final in two thousand. So Wembley is deep into our core, isn't it? 
I think, you know, in, in the fans, yes, since the late 80s and early 90s, I think since, you know, those days it's have bred in those fans something that it's nice to see, you know, the younger fans today are getting to, so they'll remember the trips to Wembley from, you know, sort of um, 18, 19, uh, 17, 18, 19 and 21. You know, we've tried to forget 17. <laughs> and talking about matters on the pitch, you know, this is a, you know, an, a nice distraction from the league action. We've still got a lot of cup finals coming after after this Sunderland match with a lot of league games remaining but it's a it's a great chance to kind of relax and enjoy this game isn't it and that'll be the, the message to the supporters who just enjoy the occasion and cheer the team on back home here at the world yeah I think we want to win it 